moving on to the Algorand virtual machine. What is the Algorand yeah. virtual machine and what separates it apart from the Ethereum virtual machine? Sure, yeah. So uh, the AVM or the Algorand virtual machine, that's basically our smart contract engine. Um, so that's what uh, it's the, the execution environment. It's allocating storage and memory and processing bytecode and uh, doing all the work of the actual underlying smart contracts. Um, and, uh, and you can think about it similar to the EVM, as you mentioned, uh, which is doing the same thing for Ethereum. So you write your, your smart contract in a higher level language. On Algorand, it's something like Reach or, or Python. Uh, on uh, Ethereum, it's something like Solidity or Viper. Uh, and then it gets compiled down, sent off to the, the, the corresponding virtual machines and executed on chain. Um, and so it's very, very similar. In fact, if someone's familiar with EVM, just think about AVM as, uh, you know, the same thing, but on Algorand. Um, it is not quite the same thing, though. So uh, we chose to build our own virtual machine rather than use something like EVM, uh, which a number of other chains have done. They've just said, ah, you know what, we'll just use EVM. It's already done. Um, we made that decision for a couple of reasons. You know, one, we wanted something that could really be tied really deeply into our underlying protocol. We operate at a particular speed, uh, very fast. We operate at a particular cost, very cheap. Uh, and we have a slightly different model than Ethereum. And uh, sort of trying to backport in a, the EVM, um, you, you can do it, uh, but you end up doing some funny things. Like, for instance, well, this is my main chain, but I've got a separate chain that runs EVM. And it's a little bit different, uh, but you can bridge between it. Like, you, you just you end up sort of trying to do weird things. And when you make improvements to your underlying protocol, uh, it might not be reflected uh, in that smart contract platform because you've used somebody else's platform. And so we wanted something that was really sort of tied in with, uh, with what we were doing and what we might do in the future. Um, and so when I think about AVM and EVM, I'm thinking about our underlying uh, differences. So we are faster, we are cheaper. Um, our smart contracts uh, run at the same speed as everything else on our, our chain. They cost the same as a simple pay transaction um, and yet have the same kind of power and ability to handle complex applications that you can build on Ethereum. That's how I, I think about it. I hope you enjoyed that clip, and if you'd like to see the entire video, click the link down in the description below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because it really helps to get the word out there. Thanks.